The transatlantic slave trade is the largest forced migration in the history of the world. From 1501 to 1867, an estimated 12.5 million people were shipped out as slaves. Most were prisoners of war, statesmen, soldiers, artists, farmers, and many other skilled people. Nations who lost their people lost their social order and their natural cultural progress. The depopulation of West Africa set back regional development for generations. Once again, what Esau Edom did was nothing new. Okay? Primarily, primarily by gathering Judah, Benjamin, and Levi and making them build your empire. That's nothing new. The ancient Babylonians did it. The, the Medes and Persians did it. The Greeks did it. The Romans did it. Which you are the Greeks and the Romans coming back. Okay, so you did it again. Now, let's get an example in the book of the prophet Daniel to show you how the ancient Babylonians, they did the same thing. Okay? During what's called the Neo-Babylonian Empire. Okay? The Neo-Babylonians, they did the same thing. All right? And you're the modern-day Babylonians. You Edomites, you're the modern-day Babylonians, and America is Babylon the Great. Okay? Now, remember, this part right here where it says, how most of the Israelites that was put in slavery, most were prisoners of war, statesmen, soldiers, artists, farmers, and many other skilled people. So let's see what the ancient Babylonians did to our people. And let's see who they got as far as the different classes of our people. Let's see what happened. Now this is uh, in the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 1, verse 1. In the third year of the reign of of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of the heavenly father. Right, so the ancient Babylonians, they raided Jerusalem. They raided our temple. Okay, they, they took our king captive and they raided our temple. Okay. And also destroyed our temple. But reading on it says. Which he carried into the land of Shinar. The land of Shinar is Babylon. Which is Iraq today. To the house of his God. And we know that the heathens. They worship idols. Okay. But it says. And he brought the vessels. Into the treasure house of his God. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the sons of Israel and of the king's seed, of the king of Israel's seed, and of the princes. Right, so these are nobles of Israel, high-born men of Israel, sons in whom was no blemish. But well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning or crafty in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the, the learning and the tongue or language of the Chaldeans. Come on now. Let's read that again. Starting at verse three. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the sons of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes, sons in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. You Edomites did the same thing that the ancient Babylonians did. All right. The ancient Babylonians, they gathered men of Israel that you would need 
for your empire. Okay, to forward your empire, to build your empire. You see? To establish and build your kingdom. They did it and you did it. All right? Only difference is you're a different nation of people that did it. And during this time, when we were put in captivity, this is the only captivity where we had no knowledge of self. We had no knowledge of of who we are. This is the only captivity where our nationality was beaten out of us. This is the only nation, man. It, it's the only nationality that matters, man. You know? It's so like I'm slurring my words, but our nationality is the only nationality that matters, man. That's why it was taken from us. You know? And you Edomites have been. You know, pretty much, you know, going all, all around the earth, all around the earth, uh, parading yourself as us, pretending to be us. All right. When you knew who we were the whole time and you've been lying about it, you've been hiding it and you've been lying about it. And, and you know, telling us that we black. OK. But you knew exactly who you got from West Africa. And once again, you did the same thing that the ancient Babylonians did. And you're the modern day Babylonians. All right. I mean, you can't get around that. They got men of Israel that were skillful in wisdom, knowledge. They, they understood science. You know, we, we got scientists among our people. You know, just like today. You know. You have a lot of our people that know different languages. They, they can easily learn different languages. You know. Even dealing with this guy that uh that passed, you know, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, he lived in Italy. If I'm not mistaken, he grew up in Italy. He spoke Italian. You know. And you got uh, you know, uh Shaq. Well, you know, he was in Germany for a little bit. But you know, you got a lot of our people, man, they're very knowledgeable. You know, Jake is athletic, but Jake is also very knowledgeable. Because we the sons of God. And once again, you use us to build up your damn kingdom. All right. Plain as day, man. This is plain. You know, statesmen, soldiers, artists, farmers, and many other skilled people. You know, so that's the point. They know who they put in captivity, man. All right. And you're going to pay for it, too. And we're going to use you to build up our kingdom. What the Bible calls the kingdom of heaven. Which is only for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. So, with that, I pray and hope this is edifying. Call Halayim La, Allah Hayyinawa, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Racha Hakudash. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Racha Hakudash. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessed to the hopeful elect. Stay strong. We almost home. Shalom.